So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about this situation of a straw man issue because this, to me, this Roe versus Wade is a straw man issue. It's something that is not fair and it, it has really, you know, it's more or less taken a, even our community, uh, more or less, we're jumping on more of a bandwagon with this situation. When over, when all in all, we should be still focused full steam ahead. We our focus should be mainly be on what we've always been asking for, and and that is what they would call is reparations. Now, whether or not we will ever get it, uh, it 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 is is to be questioned. Whether or not we'll ever get reparations, but if we keep this train moving fast along mm -hmm. it'll definitely give us our opportunity to be in a position to where we would be able to start to get a percentage because again we, we talked about you know reparations is just not about money even though that's the biggest part of it we, you know we're looking at land we're looking at the proper edu the proper education not the education that they you pay for to be giving money back to a bank but we're looking at education as perfect to proper process of being able to push our selves, our community, our lineage, our families ahead, you know, as, as we see in politics, when it's be, you know, it seems like, as I said before in the last uh, broadcast, it's like politics, going into politics for Blacks gets higher and higher, and the condition of Blacks get worse and worse. You know, I and you try to you try to equate and add this up. It's like, oh, well, this voting thing is really not working. You know, they keep telling you to vote, 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 vote. What am I voting for? Is that would be the question. You know, somebody approached me and said, "Hey, you gonna go vote?" Well, yeah, but what for? What? What am I going to get for my vote? What do I gain to achieve? What do I gain to get out of a vote? If you're asking me as a politician, what am I going to gain from it? But then you got to ask that same question. What do you gain by not voting? See, uh, you have depending to- on, Depending on how you vote, Minister P. I mean, you know, if, if it's a strategically and you're saying, hey, you, you Minister P, you come to me, right? You say- No, 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 no. I hey, said, what do you gain by not voting? Right, right. By not voting. By not so voting. So if, if you're you not going to vote, I mean, what have we gained? Let's just ask that question. Okay. Well- Let's 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 get it like this. We have gained people who we have placed in office. Mm -hmm. uh, so I I have placed someone in in office as opposed to not placing someone in office. See, you would rather have your hand stirring the pot instead of just looking at it like, well, it's it's, it's, it's going to pull together. No, you you stir, you do your job, and you do your 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 stirring. Because listen. The, the thing that we have to look at, we have to mm -hmm. keep moving forward. We can't give this thing up because we have a, we're in a struggle. And our struggle consists of four elements, health, housing, education, and economy. We always talk about that. Yeah. You always say uh, economy, and I always say education. But those are the two pillars of any society. But the mm -hmm. things that the Black community needs right now is health, housing, education, and economy. And so we have to continue to stir that pot. Don't ever be caught with your, are you helping? Nope, I ain't doing nothing. Continue to stir that pot because guess what happens? Momentum. Mm -hmm. And one of these days is going to occur. Yeah. One of these days yeah. we will raise up a politician. He might be birthed yesterday or today, a black politician who have heard shows like, let's look at this and others like us and then have formed an opinion, oh, this is what we need, see? So my, my thing is to always stir that pot. Yeah, oh, definitely. Without, 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 without any, you don't have any, uh, I disagree with me, but that definitely stir the pot and get things moving. Um, but yeah, getting, getting back on point with this Roe versus Wade, uh, it, it's, it's not that we should get on this bandwagon because to me that to me that is a straw man issue because it doesn't focus on what you just stated what we need that's not really part of what we need 
Uh, we that's not none of I mean, it, it, and I tell black women this, any ones that I've talked to, I said, hey, you know, it might be a headache being black, a black woman at times. It might be a headache, right? This being a black woman, but it's cancerous being black. It's cancerous being black because we, we're missing all of those four points that you stated, and mainly the two, the education and the process, what we're doing now. I mean, we're, we're missing the economics that we need yep. because we, we, on this platform now, we shouldn't have to be looking for, it was just reference to radio. Let me just, you know, get use that as an example. We shouldn't have to be pulling back and forth to use different other means to communicate to our people. Where's our radio stations at? You know, when you look at the statistics of radio stations, you know, we only own roughly about 100 in this country. I mean, if you want to add internet radio, I mean, that's maybe for another 100, let's say 200 now. And it's tw out of 12,000. Now, here we got people being flown out or all over the place. You know, that's why, you know, with this administration, you know, we're looking at the Obama and Joe Biden administration all over again. We'll just say the Obama. And I told somebody that. I say, if you want Obama to run again, you're going to see it. And this is what we're getting. He's just he's just pushing for an agenda that's already that was on a platform that never got a chance to continue because of another gentleman who came into office named Donald Trump. So that agenda got put on hold. And of course, he started to spew his rhetoric, which I commend him for. That's what one thing I commend Donald Trump for is bringing out what was always in the closet. And that is what is in society today, which is called racism. Well, well let me say this. I don't commend that cat for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't commend him for nothing. I don't, I don't, he didn't need to bring it out. Yeah, he didn't. That, we, we, right, you're right. We, Bro, we already knew it was, it was there. there. It's just, but, listen, it's just... get, but getting getting back to your point about the radio station, mm -hmm. you know, uh, those statistics that you just called out are staggering. They're sobering. But why is it? Well, it's a lack of, here it is, again, education and economy. It's, it's, it's a lack of the money behind it. So what do we have to start doing? We have to start educating our Black brothers and our Black sisters as they come up. This is a field that will greatly benefit you, not just you only, but the whole Black movement or the Black culture. And yeah. so when we start putting that in our, in our kids' minds, like, what do you want to be? A radio broadcast. Why is that? Because they give you education. Education brings knowledge. Knowledge brings power, and power brings opportunity to the table. Yeah. You know, and so it, it's, it's our fault, some, that we haven't really uh, put that in our kids' minds. Yeah. Or it will more or less push the issue, ministry. We, we should be pushing that issue more. We, yeah. well, we've gotten so lackadaisical in looking into something that is put in front of us say well look you got bet well, look you got wgci and then when you when you when you start to say wait whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute okay who's behind those two conglomerates is it my uncle is it somebody's uncle i know that look like me or is there somebody else on it and then that's what that's why on, on those particular stations you won't hear stuff like this you won't be educated on stuff like this. They won't, they're not going to do it. If they do it, they'll just bring out somebody who will speak on it and then he'll go to tell you, oh, well, yeah, yeah. see all the problems we got, you should be voting. Now, I said again, Minister P, how is it that politics is here and black condition is down here? I, I mean, help me understand that. If, if, I'm, if I'm voting at a high level, politics, right? then why is my condition down here it should it should be either here or above condition should be here or above absolutely if you're saying that if you're telling me to go vote and i'm doing that mm -hmm. what am i getting out of it if, if i went out and voted for you did my condition of my people become because i mean we can sit on this platform all day for ministry for four or five hours and say hey well, you know what? Let's list out all the conditions that we have. And we we, we probably run somewhere into the thousands, if not more. Yeah. 
but but here it is. Here's the answer to your question that you asked me. What do we get out of it? Again, it goes back to the illustration, stirring that pot. Yeah. That the that those ingredients in that pot will never get a meal on that table if you don't stir that doggone pot. You can stand there and look at it all you want to. You can say, I wish I could have. We we should get together. We maybe you know, but you get in there and you start stirring that pot. And then you start creating the dinner uh, uh, from that pot. Same thing with us. Listen, hey, we ne never voted at all, mm -hmm. all during our, our time, uh, the ability to vote. And no black person ever voted because what will it get us? Guess what? You wouldn't have gotten nothing. You would not never have gotten a black face in, in the Senate. You never would have gotten a black face in the House. You never would have gotten a black face in Congress at all. You never would have got the black face as president of the United States, uh, vice president of the United States. But but My, more more over, Minister P, having that face, you need to what to go with it. What's that? <laughs> the mindset, yeah. The mindset. Well, you know, here, here's the thing. I, I, and, 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 and I'm starting to find this out a lot more. You know, the president can only go so far. We, I was talking with one of my coworkers today about this. See, our president is not a, a, a dictator or a monarch, like, for instance, Putin. Okay. Or, or uh, who's the president over there in China? Well, oh, what, right, right. Yeah, they don't have Congress. <laughs> what You're they right. say goes. Yeah. So, uh, who would have fed in very well over there would have been a Donald Trump. That's not, that's not the size of the point. And look, I, 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 I want to say it first on this platform, hopefully, this minutes me that we, and, and then um, brother said it, I had, you know, had a uh, conversation, small, quick conversation with the brother about it. Uh, we got to talk about Hitler and uh, who did, I can't remember the brother, the, not the brother, but the, the gentleman who replaced Hitler or Hitler replaced when he died. Um, right, I know you're talking about. I can't yeah, that. yeah. Yes. I, I'm yes. sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I, you know, it's, we we usually be on point, but we we just got on work. Some, yeah, we, we got on, so we we have a brain. We have some brain. We we not as crisp, but we gonna be crisp. Watch, watch what I tell you. We gonna get back crisp like we were, so we can call these names off. But um, the, the the gentleman who took over who died in office and he came Hitler came in and took over mm -hmm. said oh well I'm the leader now and you can see if you do the research and you see what Hitler did I, I don't I'll say this and and, 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 I, and I'm saying it on this platform and people here you can agree to disagree but I if Joe Biden passes Right. Look for the same thing to happen with Donald Trump. Seriously, it's, it's, we got to really be serious about this. He, he can easily step in and say, well, oh, since, because they'll clear all of that situation that he got going on with the storm and the capital, that, that's enough, that's smokescreen. Oh, well, we, we can't um, do to the time span, you know, they'll come up with some little underlining undermining situation and so well we can't let uh Kamala Harris be step in as president so we got to go with the previous president they'll do that so I'm saying it for the first one is playing now if it happens minister Pete, we gonna have serious problems on our hands oh most definitely because because you you always know with our community and and, and with our community not properly being protected even though we supposed to be protected under those three amendments, the 13th, the 14th, and 15th amendment, just they watered it down so much and put so many straw men in place of it, we'll, we'll be the first to be attacked under that. So, you know, it, I tell people to, you know, it's nothing you need to be worrying your mind about, but there's something to be thinking about because it could happen. Well, I don't, I don't think that can happen. I personally don't think that could happen. <laughs> I don't because, want it to happen. Be, be, this because, is to be clear. Are, because the Constitution is already written. Um, I know, but well, so yeah. so you're saying that the Civil War never happened? This is what they call the Civil War? Well, we, we're talking about the presidings of when a uh, 
president dies or becomes deceased, I, I, those true. type of procedures. Right. So, so those, out of that, those procedures are already in place. I know, but out of that could come a civil war. It's not dealt with properly. Okay, but still, the procedures cannot be pushed to the side. They can't make up on, on the fly. Oh, let's make up something right quick because because uh, Donald Trump needs no, that won't work. That's democracy. If not, we won't have a democracy. Well, we I mean, we, we borderline it. We borderline it. Borderlining what? <laughs> Over to dictatorship. That's where we're we're borderlining. No, but but we're border but we're borderlining from what then? We're borderlining from what, Dr. Nah, K? I, I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> Say democracy. You know what the word is. I mean, well, I do know what it is, but do, yeah, do we it, feel it's, that it's democracy. democracy? I mean, we, so we, we need to if really we feel have it. it. If we didn't have democracy, then Donald Trump would be in office. No, I understand uh, what you're saying. Pence, I, I Pence would be hung. <laughs> Every congressperson <laughs> would, would have been beat with a whip and speared and put up on crucifix. Well, let's say this. Let's just... Hope, as you know, to pray that that doesn't yeah. happen. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but we know it's possible. So let, go ahead. <laughs> oh, do oh you, yeah. Do you recall that this is a travesty? This is a straw man. <laughs> this is a straw man right here. You have Ken Grip. I, I feel so bad for Richard Irvin. You have Ken Griffin, who spent. $50 million. Look, look, what did I say? Money buys who? Politicians, right? But it didn't buy, not no, in it, this case. It didn't. It didn't. And so, because this, this, this is why, look, not only did the black community, but the white community got, got, yeah, they saw right wise through on this catch. Yeah. We both, yeah. both cultures saw through this. Yeah. And so, and so this is a strategy. There's no way, no place this man can go to hide. Yeah. And no, no place yeah. you can go to hide because yeah. he sold himself out. Yep. And 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 then he sold out his position yeah. in politics. He said, "No, we're not having this because you are a sellout. You will be owned by see, man. I hate to keep going back to that slave mentality, but you will be owned by the, the master." Yeah. And they said, "We're not having that." And so this cat is left now. Dr. K mm -hmm. to, to fight his own battle. That that's, hey, that's a shame. Look, had had he came home first, right? Yeah. And and got his people and say, look, people, I, I need my people to get behind me, and then I can go and get a, a, another group. But he didn't. And say, hey, you know, let me get my people together first because we got the most problems, right? I mean, who wouldn't agree with that? That's you sit down and, and, and put it out and say, hey, my, my people got to, to another group now, to another race, white race, and say, hey, you know, my people got problems first. Let me get them together, and then I'll can you guys back us after I get them backing. Can I get your backing, too? And he just stated that, instead, but he came out with a straw man issue and had faith in that straw man and thought he was going to get him to the end of the race. But <sighs> you brought, you said it brilliantly. That was a straw man issue. Listen, let, 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 let me give an example right quick. Okay, of what a straw man, I can't find that paper right now. Oh, mm -hmm. but a straw man argument here. This is an example, what, right quick. This is an example of, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, supporters, this is an example of a straw man argument. If someone says, I think that we should give study guides to students. Mm -hmm. A person using a straw man uh, argument will say, I think that's a bad idea because we don't want to give out A's to everyone. Mm. Now, the point isn't about A's. It didn't might say A's. You're giving, you're giving uh, study guides to students to help them learn. It didn't right. say you easily giving out A's. This is what Irving did. This is what he messed up at, straw man mentality. He said, listen, when, when, when I go through my neighborhood, we went straight to those houses where they were dealing drugs. And I brought them all out of there. I brought all of the black people out of there. And, 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 and then we, we brought justice. It's not going on on my watch. Well, excuse mm -hmm. me, did only black people sell drugs? 
and you only right. went into the black community. <laughs> See, that's what that's that's where the problem is. You try to say that the only people that use drugs and sell drugs are black. The only yeah. communities that are bad are blacks. That's where you messed up at. Yeah. That was that straw man mentality. Mm-hmm. An example. It sure of, was. And they it brought you down. It brought you down. Hey, look, we we should pat ourselves on the back, Ms. Speaker. We on our on the dating game. We put them, we put it out there. All Don't those know. candidates they were running, they were running. We put them out there. We put them out there on Front Street. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you if you go to our and I invite you to go to our our YouTube channel and view some of our uh, past broadcasts. The channel is KTSC TV. You can catch us there live. We're actually streaming live, so if you go there, uh, you can and or and like and share, please, please do like and share, and because that is our platform. And that's get that site there. one more time. It's KTSE TV. You should be able to, and of course, you can't miss our beautiful faces, our handsome <laughs> faces. <laughs> You can't miss our hands and face, so you'll know <laughs> that's us uh, when you see, <laughs> when you get to the channel, you'll see us there. Is that straw uh, man? <laughs> yeah, you'll see. <laughs> so you uh, definitely get in there and, because we want to start our chat room because we love we love to hear and chat back and forth with our audience uh, to see. And, you know, and of course, we're going to have some trolls trolling around and saying stuff and saying off the wall things. We know how to handle that. Yeah, you know, but let's be clear, ladies and gentlemen, whether you're black or white, and that's the issue that we're having in this society. You know, we have issues, problems among society because there's still a race that's being at hand. If there wasn't, you know, there wouldn't be no discussion about poverty. There wouldn't be no discussion, discussion about homelessness. There wouldn't be no discussion about who's getting what job and who's going where and what labor and who's using labor for what and then it wouldn't be no issue it's reference to someone have to be against immigration and bringing other groups to be over another group so we're having those issues now so again if you're black or if you're black listen to this you need to hear and if you're white listen to this don't be um, <laughs> you know don't get uneasy in your seat man. don't get uneasy because because again you know there's problems you know, there's situations and bad situations happen. And it is not to put one over the other. It's to about to bring at a level plane. You know, we all, this is the earth is leveled and plane that I know of. That's where we have society needs to be as what they would consider to come up with this term race. Yeah. It should be a level plane. So you know we we're at our definitely at our time, but we got we got we got about like seven more minutes, Mr. P. So we just want to reach all and stretch out as much as we can as of information that we got at hand. So let's continue till it's the end. Till it's the end. Mm. We got we got until eight ten. We gotta leave at eight. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we gotta get off here at eight. So. Uh, yeah. But but yeah, um, I definitely invite you all to tune in and, and get on our platform as we go live on, on YouTube to be able to have discussions again at the at, at, that handle is KTSE dash TV. You can view us there and get into get into the chat room. The chat room is open. Uh, any questions that anybody want to throw out there, we'll be lucky to have you. And, Give us a thumbs up if you like it and critique and tell us what we can do better. Again, I'm not afraid of uh, criticism because, again, that's all about you know, educating. And if you have a question and something that I don't know, I'll be sure to try to find out the best of my ability to be able to answer it and get it for you as best as I can. So, and that's what this platform is about. It's not about popularity and not about seeing our faces getting out there more and and hey, but it, again, it's about getting the message out as best as we can. So we'll be able to reach our audience to get that information to them. Because again, it's, it's, it's all about communication. How can we communicate better to our people? Because again, since we don't have another language, the language that we used to speak, which some say it was the Tut language from the Egypt aspect of our ancestors, that's one part of a language that we've had. Uh, but we've been stripped of that 
So we, we are speaking English, and even though some of us may be fluent in other different languages, French, German, Russian, Spanish, we still are speaking English. So we, we need to speak the same language and be on the same page. So I definitely invite you all to tune in as we air. Um, let's look at this on Fridays at 7 p.m. to 8, a little bit after, if need be, 8 p.m. And that on is on Friday. That is on Friday evenings. If you were able to tune in to us, it's greatly appreciated that you tune in. I really appreciate that love and support. And if you want to donate, our donate handle is Cash App KTSE Media. It's all one word. Please love to have that donations. Just that way we can do better. As I talked about before, we be getting a solid radio stations that we can go in and be all together on one platform instead of trying to crawl around to see where we can get together here and there you see we're doing a beautiful job now i i, I would agree myself but again that that help that, that donation that would be appreciated and that, that would definitely definitely give minister p a chance to be on his platform the times that he was aired on Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Love and work ministry. And that'll give other people a chance to get on the platform to be able to discuss other subjects that we may have going forward. They're all subjects are important, but mainly some of the stuff that we talk about on this platform that we try to focus on what is at hand and what is important to us to get us in the right direction as a community. Because as I look around in other communities, there are so many as a pastoral community today that, that, that doesn't have our face. They have new businesses going up everywhere with their language on the billboard. So that's the sight to see. And then if you go in your community, you, you only see a few. It's stated in this to be real quick that there were more black owned, if you want to use that term, black owned businesses, more in the 1920s than there is now which is, you know, we would think in today's times that we would be, we would have our own base community. Again, not to segregate and cut out other communities, but at least you even invite some other folks to come in to partake in some of the things that we may have to offer. Because of course, you know, we missed that revolutionary manufacturing era. Why? Because we were somewhere stuck in between slavery and segregation and Jim Crow fighting all these other fires and wasn't able to get in on the real fire. So uh, that uh, is much said uh, that we need to do better in that lane. But um, I greatly appreciate you tuning in who all did tune in and please tune in next week at the same time. I am your gracious host, Minister P is my co-host, host Dr. K. Minister P, give us the words as we go out. Yes, listen, always remember education brings knowledge. Knowledge brings power and power brings opportunity to the table of plenty. Yeah, well, you heard it best from Minister P. You heard it best from myself. It's our time, folks. Peace out. Thank mm-hmm. you.